so we are back again with another upload big up to everybody who's come and watched it make sure you stick a like on the video make sure more importantly you subscribe as well and make sure you are following my instagram and all of the other socials most importantly this one instagram really want to boost that this season so and into next season so make sure you go and check that out don't forget if you haven't checked out the video i did earlier on this morning um that was saint maximin linked to an arsenal move go and check that video out also um we are kicking off at seven o'clock tonight arsenal the arse come on the arsenal and uh we're kicking off at seven o'clock so at quarter to six me and Tom will be doing match day vibes on here. Really looking forward to that. We've had a week off. It's been bliss. I went around the Lake District. I've been around Gretna. I've been down to Siloff. I've been everywhere in, in uh, the northern part of the country on the Scottish border and that. So, yeah, it's been nice to have a chilled weekend. And now this club's going to make my forehead grow another inch. Um, and then, obviously, after that, the, uh, the phone-in show, the video phone-in show with Chig, we'll be doing that again. And then the fan cams will be going pop, 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 pop. So, yeah, man, plenty, plenty, plenty of content to come today. So make sure you go and check all of that out and uh, make sure you've got notifications switched on as well. But Granite Xhaka, ah, dear, Granite Xhaka, the Swiss international midfielder. <laughs> the one who says he does his talking on the pitch. The guy who threw the armband on the floor. The guy who told us all to F off. The guy who thinks he's Andrea Pirlo in midfield, when really it's just the Swiss Charlie Adam. He is absolutely bang average. It's amazing how many um, people I see that say that he is a, a very important cog in the wheel at Arsenal. Maybe I need spec savers because I just don't see what this guy brings to our team. I think he is going to leave this summer, or at least I hope he's going to leave this summer. And um, he was very close to going back to Germany last season before Mikel Arteta begged him to stay. But this story broke about a Zakaria, 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 tell me how to say it, Zakaria, uh, who again is another Swiss, Swiss midfielder. Jesus Christ, do we want another one? Um, but he is linked to a, a swap deal to Munch and Gladbach for Zakaria, Dennis Zakaria, Zakar, I can't even say his name. Dennis, we call him Den. You all right, Den, big Den. And um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know where the story's come from. I see it about a week ago. And I thought, should I do a, do a video on that? And I thought, no, nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. But I've seen it again. And it was dropped again last night in the German outlets. It's dropped again in some of the English outlets today, um, off of the back of them being dropped in Germany. And, you know, Granit Xhaka's, um said that he's happy at the club. He's still got two years at the club. Bernd Leno did the same um, the other day as well. But they're not going to come out and say, oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, I want to move. I want to leave. So, um, so yeah, because then that means their wages will probably be less because now the club they're going to knows that they want to go. The fee um, will be battered down if there is a fee involved. Um, obviously, in this case, it's a, um, it's a swap. But I don't know, man. I, I don't know how I feel about this Sakaria guy. Because I don't really watch Bundesliga football. I know a lot of you guys in my chat when I do the lives, you rave about him, some of you. But is he any better than what we've got? Is he any better than Granit Xhaka? He can play centre-back. Not that we need any because we've got way too many anyway. He can play CM and he can play DM. He is only 24, which I suppose is a bit of a bonus. But me, Bundesliga tax, I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling it. Yes, it'd be great to get Granit Xhaka out of the football club because I just think he's a complete waste of time. But is this guy any better? I'm not so sure. And not only that, you know, I look at it and I think there's other options out there that have played in the Premier League. They know the tempo, the pace, the intensity and all the other words you want to put to it of this league. Somebody like uh, Yves Basuma, for me, that's got to be the number one choice. Stick him next to Thomas Party and we move. Um, but we know how this club works. This club is a banter club. This club is penny pinching FC. And this club will probably end up doing this swap deal because Zakaria are coming on probably less than Granite Xhaka is on wages. Um, it won't cost us a fee if it's a straight swap. And it's a cheap and cheerful, no frills deal. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this deal does happen. But um, we're obviously going to have to wait and see until the transfer window officially opens. But the way this football club is talking... Um, the way Mikel Arteta is talking is we have a clear plan 
Uh, well, if the clear plan includes getting rid of Mikel Arteta, then happy days. If it doesn't, then I don't see it being a clear plan because that guy ain't had a clear plan all season or when he took over until the end of last season. So I think this is going to be a very frustrating transfer window. I may be wrong. Listen, I've been wrong multiple times on this channel about things, so I may be wrong. But I just think that this deal does seem like a deal that Arsenal would do. Straight swap, lower wages, save a few quid, get the player in and um, and move on. Whether it happens or not, like I said, remains to be seen. But the one thing, we do have a Euros coming up. And uh, we know through previous experiences of World Cups and Euros, transfers don't tend to get done quickly when they're on. You know, yes, Leicester have gone and signed a player the other day, Samari, another player we should have been looking at. But when there's a Euros on, you either have to get your business done real quick or a player that you want shines in a Euros or a World Cup and all of a sudden their price goes up, a bidding war happens because more and more clubs start noticing them. And uh, this could be a long, long summer, trust me. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on Granite Xhaka. Do you actually rate Granite Xhaka? Does anyone really rate him or is it just a hipster thing for the internet? Does anyone actually think he is that good? Because I see so many people say that he's so important to our team. Well, is he though? When we're eighth in the table, is he really that important? Um, let me know your thoughts on um, Dennis Zakaria as well. Um, would you take him? Do you watch Bundesliga football? The last time I watched Bundesliga football was last summer when football came back. And I can't lie, it was crap. Um, literally crap. So that league for me is always going to be just a little bit iffy when players come from that league. Like, yes, we can all name players that have come from that league to England and smashed it, but nine times out of ten, they don't, and they're bang average. So let me know what you would do. Would you do the swap? Do you think Arsenal will do the swap, or do you still think we're going to see Granit Xhaka's smug face strolling around the football pitch next season? Probably with the captain's armband on. Um, but leave it all in the comment section down below. Don't forget, follow the Instagram. It's just there, Lee Gunner 82 Go and smash a follow on Insta. Make sure you check out um, the Match Day Vibe show, quarter to six tonight, me and Tom. And have a little look at the uh, Crystal Palace game, a build up to that. And then straight after that game, me and Chiggy Chig back again uh, for the video calling show where you guys can come on camera. You can have your 90 seconds and uh, see what you think of the game. So plenty of content to come. Fan cams after that as well. And uh, player ratings will be dropped tomorrow uh, morning. And I will also be back with plenty more videos tomorrow. So listen, we'll have a wonderful day, whatever it is you're doing. Let's hope that after having a week off of uh, a football match, that this banter club turn up and absolutely pam Crystal Palace tonight. Don't hold your breath. I'll tetter out. <laughs> Later.